first international goal this senior level for Bukayo Saka. Brilliantly worked. Then, and England do lead. And the special day as skipper becomes that. It's US TV, baby. Peace out. Cheers. Yes, people, welcome to TOS TV. It's your boy here, Tadde, the Blunt Pony lovers, the beloveds, haters will be haters. It's the Euro 2020, people, and England just went off to a great start by winning their first game against Croatia. These were the same people that knocked them out in the last World Cup, but they got their revenge. It was a well-crafted goal, starting from the defense, going to the midfield, and going into the attack, where Sterling was able to put away his goal. It was a 1-0 finish, a well-crafted goal, well, well goal by England. England were all over Croatia in the first half. They should have got more goals than that, with the the likes of Foden hitting the bar and the likes of Calvin Phillips who eventually gave the assist also troubling the goalkeeper as well I would say really and truly Calvin Phillips for me is my manager but listen people let's get straight into the player ratings let's get straight into it Starting from the back, people, I'm going to start with Pickford. Pickford, for me, today didn't look too troubled. He wasn't really troubled by the Croatian um, attack, in my opinion, probably because of the defense that he had in front of him. But listen, this guy kept a clean sheet. And if you go by the fact that he kept a clean sheet, come on, he, he kept a clean sheet. So I'm just going to give him a seven just because of that. But really and truly, he wasn't really troubled. I don't know what you guys are going to give him, but I'm just going to stick to a seven. Let's go to the right back position. We're going to go straight to Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker, for me, was very solid in the, in the, in the right back position. He neutralized everything that came at him there. Probably the Croatian attack was a little bit too defensive. I don't know. They were relying more on the counter-attack. But he didn't really look too troubled. Whenever the players came against him, he held his own. And I would say he gave a lot of um, good true passes to the likes of Foden up front. He was working hand-in-hand -hand with the likes of Foden. And probably they already had that connection from Man City. But listen, this guy kept a clean shit. I'm going to give him a 7 as well. Moving over to Tyron Mings, people. Tyron Mings was very solid in the defense as well. He himself and John Stones had a very, very good partnership. They neutralized the Croatian attack. I felt the fact that they kept a clean sheet and the fact that every single area ball that came, every interception, he was always there when called upon. Probably they weren't too troubled, but whenever they were called upon, he did his job as a defender. I'm going to give him a seven as well. Moving over to John Stones, I would say John Stones as well. Like I said, he kept a very good partnership with the likes of Tyron Mings and he did his job. Whenever I was called upon, he headed the ball away towards the um the last um, 10 minutes we could see when he was having a lot of um, um scuffles here and there with the likes of the the croatian attackers and he was able to get his heads away he even won a free kick in the in, in that process i would say the fact that i kept a clean sheet and the fact that he was solid whenever i was called upon i'm gonna give him a seven as well moving over to the left back position which was the most debatable starting position today because we had the likes of chihuahua who was a left back who was winning <laughs> part of the um chelsea winning champions league winning tide he did not even make the squad a lot of people were debating the use of Trippier, but I would say Trippier was very solid. Like I said, for all the defenders, perhaps maybe the Croatian defense were not attacking enough. I don't know. But whenever he was called upon, he did his job. For the mere fact that he was, he's a right footer playing in a left back position and he still did very well. Kudos to him for that. This is someone that he was able to give a lot of up through balls to the likes of um, um, Sterling or whoever was playing alongside him in the left position. And even the um, some of the attempts they had on goal, it was his throwings that led to some of the attacks. There was a throw into Sterling that Sterling gave to the likes of Calvin um, Phillips who, who attempted a shot at the goalkeeper. That started from Karan Trippier. So you need to understand that it's not just about the defending but also what he brings to the game. Do not underestimate Troins because I would say he did his job there. I'm going to give him a 7 as well. Moving over to the midfield, people. I'm going to start with Declan Rice. Declan Rice, as well as Kevin Phillips, they worked hand in hand together. They neutralized the likes of Modric and Kovacic. These were the biggest stars in the Croatian side. And they did their job massively. They did not allow these guys light of day. They didn't give them breathing space. They neutralized them. They were always in their faces. And for me, Declan Rice did very well as well as a defensive midfield. Pierre with Calvin Phillips, who I'm going to move over to, but I'm going to give Declan Rice a 7 as well. Now, moving over to Calvin Phillips. This is my man of the match, people. I don't care what you guys say. He's my personal man of the match. And the simple reason is because he he did his job as a defensive midfielder and a box-to-box -box midfielder as also someone that added to the attack. Earlier on in the first half, he was the one that had the shot on target, a wonderful volley, which um, the Croatian um, goalkeeper parried away. I'm going to be giving this guy 8. Simply because, listen, this guy's a defensive midfielder and he also gave the assist, people. He gave the assist. 
That was a wonderful, well-crafted assist. You can say it was a team goal, but the fact that he was able to give that wonderful true ball to Sterling, he was able to spot the run from Sterling, and Sterling puts it away to put England um, one up, and that was the decider. I'm going to give him this guy an eight. For me, he was my man of the match. He was an engine. He added to every single department. He was tackling. He won a lot of 50-50 um, um, battles. He put in a tackle. He put in a shift. He's my man of the match. Eight for me. Then we're moving over to the right wing. We're going to start with Foden. Foden had an attempt on goal, which was just tiny little bit, tiny little bit away from goal because he hit the bar. Unfortunately, that's going to go in the statistics as off target. I don't really know who makes these rules, but that needs to be reviewed, people. Foden, for me, also gets a seven. It was a thorn in the flesh of the guy splitting the left back today. He held his own. There was a time he had a wonderful first touch ball that he passed back to the likes of Kyle Walker. For me, this guy was really, really massive today. Kudos to the way he actually played. I would say Southgate did very well in starting him. This guy was the guy that won the best young player ever in Premier League this season and he deserved a start. I'm also going to give him a 7. Moving over to the left wing, Sterling gets the goal and the simple fact that he gets the, gets the goal for me, I'm going to give him a 8. For me, it's not still my man of the match, I'm still going to stick to um, Calvin Phillips. But Sterling got the goal and just because of that, I'm going to give him an 8. Um, there were a few chances here and there that I had. There was a chance that I felt there was a back pass from... Um, um, hurricane to him. Maybe he should have done a little bit better from there. He got neutralized by defender. But listen, all that is forgiven because he gets that goal. So I'm going to give him an 8. Moving over to the attacker. We are talking about Hurricane. Hurricane for me today, he didn't really do anything much today apart from the back pass that he gave to Sterling, what I talked about. That was in the first half. He gave a back heel pass to Sterling. I think that was, a, was about the best thing he did in the game today but one thing i noticed was he didn't really fall back as much as he did for Tottenham. maybe that was an instruction from southgate that he shouldn't fall back but i think he's gotten so used to coming back to being the playmaker in the team um the whole of this season which is what morio made him to do in Tottenham. and i think maybe that's changed his game a little bit because we didn't really see the hurricane that we saw all through the season but he didn't really add much and unfortunately i had to give him a six simply because he didn't really do much he didn't really add much to the team in my opinion and there were a few times that he gave a few good passes around there but apart from that nothing much more than that so listen i'm just gonna give him a six i'm afraid the likes of jude, jude bellingham that came in i don't know if i want to give them a rating I'm, I'm, i don't know if i really want to give him a rating he didn't really do much we like the likes of rashford coming in as well rashford didn't really do much so i don't think he deserves a rating listen I'm just going to leave it there. But listen, it is coming home, people. England forever. I'm a Nigerian, but I'm supporting England. Obviously, I live here. You know, I they pay my bills and all that. So listen, big up to every single person watching this. Make sure you subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Lots of love. If you don't buy the bump, love us, if you love us, hit us, we hit us. I'm out of here, people. Take care and cheers. Bye. Are you enjoying the content? Well, if you enjoy the content, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Stop looking at me. Subscribe now. Come on. How is the channel going to grow if you don't subscribe? Help a brother. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh.